Nine losses in a row. Not the Premier League season we had expected. Stick around because we've got two games today where we could turn this season around. And also a whole brand new tactic which is much, much needed. It's been an awful start to life in the Premier League for the mighty Wrexham. <laughs> What is going on there guys, Kempi here and welcome back to Season 7, Wrexham Episode 4. What is going on? I do not know. We are now into, I think, late October, November and it's not getting any easier. Late, no, late November, I've played so many games to try and turn this around and bring you guys back at a point where we weren't awful. Well, that has not happened. No matter the friendlies I've played to try and get the morale back, no matter what I have done... If we fill this down to just the Premier League, um, yeah, it's not gone well at all. And we aren't in a situation of anything good happening anytime soon. I changed to a 4-4-2 Diamond Narrow away against Leeds. They scored two late goals. We actually looked really good in this game, to be honest. We went 1-0 up. We did look very good. Just bottled it towards the end. But this run of form is very difficult to turn around. We've got dynamics going a little bit down the pet pot. We managed to pick it up again by playing some friendlies, winning lots of friendlies, and then we just go down here again when we start to lose games. So things aren't looking good. I'm going to be honest. We've got two games today. We're away against Wolves to kick things off, and then home against Everton. Now, Wolves are down in 14th. Everton are up in 7th. We are currently eight points clear of the safety places. It's... <laughs> There's no easy way to say it. We are in the mud this season. We are in a situation where we need to pick up some points now or we could be facing the sack or relegation by March. We don't want either of them because we want to take Wrexham to glory. So let's hopefully turn things around today. We've got a game, like I said, in this 4-4-2 diamond narrow system. We'll show you that. It is a cautious system. I've tried to be a bit more defensive. Um, short passing, work ball in box, focus play through the middle and fairly narrow attacking width. Um, distribute to the centre-backs and do it quickly. Counter-attack but regroup rather than try to counter-press. Um, it's a high press at the front. Stay on the feet. Trap them inside because we've got so many men in the middle. Um, one thing I noticed last game was this Adam and Zala here. So I've changed that to a box-to-box -box because... It seemed like that was getting a bit out of hand. Um, I'm also going to change these two ball players rather than just centre defenders because, again, they kept going long ball. Um, I've put Curtis on a fullback on attack as well to hopefully make up for Joe Bellingham dropping into this role. Curtis can then get a bit more licence to go up there. Um, I'm wary of making them wing backs because <laughs> it scares me. We're going to go to a second. It does get DK and Sol in the seam together to themselves. Um, for this game, we're going to put De Silva in that box-to-box -box mid role. And Abdul Salam is going to go perfectly in to that centre attacking midfielder role. So hopefully he can do bits for us there today. Um, a very, very difficult game ahead. I'm under no illusion that we have not been playing very well recently. Um, we need to get some wins on the board. We need to turn the season around or it's going to be an impossible task to keep this team up. So let's get into it. They've got Endrick up front. Let's get into it. Well, the players aren't supporting me on the pitch, but you guys are smashing the support off the pitch. The subscribes, the likes, the whole shebang, you guys are absolutely smashing it. And it's a massive, massive thank you for myself. If you are a brand new subscriber, there's a tweet down in the description. Make sure to head over to there, retweet that tweet, and obviously be subscribed to the channel. And you could be in the chance to win FM23, your very own copy, or even a mystery shirt box. So head down to that tweet and give yourself a chance. So yeah, there's a bit more to it than just subscribing, but... This Wrexham save needs to turn around right now. And that is the aim today against Wolves. So Wolves are starting Endrick up front. Um, Ollie Skip at centre-back. So it's a bit of a weird team and a Wolves team that I did not expect to be facing today. Endrick up top, Pedro Neto on the wings. Um, Ivan Ilcic, Monchu, Mateus Nunes is still there. A very good Wolves team. Our team looks good. I'm confident. Sam Curtis, Reese Williams, Lemisco, Blas Rosman, James Garner, De Silva, Bellingham, DK, Abdul Salam, and Rene Sole were playing this new narrow system. And like I said, I'm confident because the way we played in that last game against Leeds gave me a lot of sort of good vibes. We looked good. We looked like we potentially do something this season. Wolves have lost three games in a row. There is not a better time to play them. They have got the best Wonder Kid striker on the game up top, however. And we are nine games, I was about to say unbeaten. We're nine games beaten. 
<laughs> we nine games without picking up a single point. And the first highlight is Pedro Neto down this left-hand side, trying to go into Wendrick, but Lomishko covering very well. And hopefully, let's just relax on the ball now, build up the back. We've always been good at this. We've always been good at playing football. And Curtis has some options to bring it forward. Finds DK, drops it back in to Bellingham. Long ball forward to Rene Solo. Finds Emmanuel Abdul Salam. And what an effort. That was a great save by the Wolves keeper. And Abdul Salam back in the team finally because he picked up a red card as well. I've not even gone through the games. We've lost nine in a row. I'm going to have to show you some of, at least what's been going on because nine losses in a row has been tough. A lot of red cards, a lot of penalties given away. I need to show you the XG chart as well because we're probably like top of the league on that. So that is going to come after this game against Wolves. Um, Rene Sole losing possession in not a good position at all as Blas Rothman had bombed it up the pitch. But we've done well to get where we are. And the cat has jumped on my lap and wants a bit of loving. And Wolves have put the ball in the back of the net. Cleo, what are you doing? We are playing football manager. You need to please step off my lap and as soon as she does the team falls apart the team were distracted by the cat and so was i illich with a fantastic goal the, the cleo made absolutely no difference whatsoever there did she that was just a great finish from me van illich I'm, I'm trying to find something to blame because there's no way it's my team playing this bad surely oh my god what did i say about red cards i'm look stay on feet it's a clear instruction Oh, James Garner. That is an absolute killer. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I think we're going to go a little bit asymmetrical, you know. There's not a lot else I can do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Play him there. Play Sole out there as a winger on attack. This does not look like anything that could potentially ever work. Um, I'm going to change you to the fullback on attack, you to the fullback on support. I'm going to have to do that, I think. And I'm going to give Job until half time in that role. But that's an absolute killer. We're just not catching a break. I, I feel like genuinely there is just an absolute. There's nothing else. I can potentially do because the team is just fouling everybody. I mean, what what is what is going on there? I just don't understand. I feel like it's I feel like I'm about to say, I feel like it's not tactical. I've got no one playing on the left side other than Rosman, but I feel like players are just giving up on me. I mean, what a goal that is, Thierry Rendell Correa. He's their right back and he's just pumped that in from 25 yards. Absolutely no chance for Lulukovic to save that one. I'm getting some, some big Cleo eyes looking at me as in and she's very disappointed that we're losing this one. Probably 3-0. Good header away. Can we get it clear? Right, DK, I don't know what I expect you to do <laughs> surrounded by six players on your own. This could be the end of the Wrexham save. I, I, I'm not going to, you know, cheat my way out of it. We're not going to add a new manager. We'll simply get sacked at this point I think Illich oh my god I, I don't think any I don't think you could stick Sir Alex Ferguson as a manager of this Wrexham team would be doing any better it's just complete and utter rubbish there's nothing I can do I, I, I'm sitting here with 10 men every single game and just players that are angry all the time and I've changed formation I don't think the transfer window was that bad. I thought it was actually a very, very good transfer window. And so did the comments, to be honest. But here we are. Ten games in a row losing, I reckon. Not even I reckon it is, isn't it? It's going to be ten in a row. Right, let's get Sole up top on his own. And get Darren O'Hanlon on the right wing. Get Joe off for Tom Jones. And just see with half hour to go if we can sort something out. But... I'm not hopeful. I'm very dejected, as you can tell, from this Wrexham side. They are not doing what I want them to do in the slightest. And it's, it's going to be a sticky end to the, the whole save, really. Seven seasons of pure genius getting us into this situation. And here we are, losing 10 games in a row in the Premier League. This was meant to be the glory days with the save kick-started 
and we went absolutely ham with the Wrexham boys, but I don't think that's how it's going to go, is it? Monchu, Suso, Kyogo going through on goal. Kyogo for a hashi. Celtic striker makes it 3 0 to Wolves in 71 minutes. <sighs> what would you guys do in this stage? What would you be doing? What would you be changing? What can I learn? From this, Abdul Salam whips it in. Reese Williams hasn't scored a goal all season. Six point two average rating. He's naff. Lemish goes naff. Oh, why? Why do we get silly, stupid red cards and injuries everywhere and just not got lucky at all? A three 0 loss. I'm far from pleased. I'm just going to show you guys some bits from the before. I bring you back. Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to show you guys the XG table. We're actually 19th in that as well. So I haven't even got that as an excuse anymore. I'm um, just going to go through and show you guys where we left off. Obviously, it was this Bristol City game. We missed a penalty. After that, played Fulham. Abdul Salam sent off in the 21st minute. A 4-0 loss at home. Went to Spurs. Dejan Kulisevsky scored a brace of headers in the first half. And then we lost 3-0. Uh, Man City held them to a 1-0 defeat. A penalty in the 70th minute. Why are you giving away penalties against Manchester City? A 3-1 loss against Lee. We just tried the new formation. And a 3-0 loss with a red card against Wolves. What do you do? What 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 is the what is the play? Obviously, this is my first ever long-term proper save on YouTube. What do I do in this situation? We've got Everton up next. We've got a quite a you know, we've not, we've only got Chelsea. And then we've got five games where you could potentially see us picking up some points. I'm baffled as to what we do from here on out. Um, the boards, to be fair, the last time I checked was a C minus. It's still a C minus, and the fans are still a C. We are just meant to fight bravely or attempt to avoid, but we're not doing that at all. We're just bottom <laughs> by a lot. Need to pick this up. Four days time. Back at the race course. Let's try and get some points. I can't believe Wolves have actually offered me a job interview. I don't know why. They've just played against us. And they've battered us off the park. Does that mean they had no manager? Are you a caretaker? Oh my god. We just got done by a caretaker manager. I cannot believe we've been offered a job interview. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the interview purely because this is a Wrexham only save, but Oh the 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 fact that we've been offered a job interview by Wolves there is mind blowing and probably shows that I've still got a good rep as a manager. I mean if we go into my profile, I'm a three and a half star manager. So realistically, jobs wise, we could be getting four, four and a half star teams. Wrexham are I think a three star. So if we just look at United, we could get technically the United job, the Wolves job, we could easily do better than the Wolves job, Spurs job, we could easily get the Spurs job. I think it shows that my stake as a manager certainly hasn't gone down. It's just people were probably understanding the team isn't quite as good as I'd hoped it was. We've got Everton today. I'm going to keep you guys back just for all of this, the, the build up and everything. But let me know down in the comments, what would you guys have done there? Away, we just played against Wolves and we got battered 3-0. Also, there's a red card in there by Garner. They've got Endrick. They've got some very good players. I did decline it. I didn't save it at that point. So there is no chance of me getting that Wolves job. But what would you guys have done? Would you have taken that Wolves job? Would you have moved away from Wrexham? I mean, defeats are expected every single game at the moment. And I'm expecting them as well, which probably isn't a very good sign. Everton are up into sixth place. Are not the Everton of real life, that's for sure. Um, in terms of the team we're going to play today, Al Jasmine is going to come in for Reese Williams. I've had enough of his poor form. Um, Leo as well had a massive injury. He is only just starting to come back. I think he was out for six to eight weeks. So we've not had him pretty much since the last episode. Um, where he fits into the system, probably up front somewhere as a backup. Or we develop him as a centre mid because he's not quite going to finish him. But we shall see. Um, Owen O'Malley's going to come in at left back as well. And I think Hannibal's going to come in for Joe Bellingham. Joe has not been good enough this season. He is the club captain. 
but he's not shown any captaincy whatsoever, really. He's been very, very average. The Everton team is headling goal. Nathan Peterson, Patterson, sorry, at right back. Nianzu, Van de Ven, Mikalenko, JWP, Curtis Jones, Friendrup, Wu Yong Zhong, uh, Bangura, and Maximus Donkin. And that is a fantastic name up top. Put a donk on it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but we've just got to keep trying things. We've got to keep plugging away in these games. We're now at the race course. First time in a couple of games since the international break. Can the crowd pick this team up? I'm not sure anything could pick this team up, if I'm honest. I think what what's going to happen, honestly, I think what's going to happen is we're probably going to get sacked at some point. And I'm going to save it there. We're going to be sacked. And I'm going to put this in a Discord chat so you guys can try and save this save for yourself. And I might come back and do a video in a few months' time of saving the Wrexham save. Um, which is quite funny because I've I've called the save, trying to save the save, uh, actually on my PC for a, a, about a month where I had that issue with the, the OneDrive and I was trying to save the save. Funnily enough, I could do a save in a month or two's time, trying to save the save. Uh, DK there, find Abdul Salam, ball through to Rene Sole, can he round the keeper? It's blocked off the line by Nianzu. Of course it is, because why wouldn't it be? But we do look good, actually. We're on the attacking front foot a couple of times already. Um, Nathan Patterson down this right-hand side tries to get a ball across to Bangura and does. Curtis Jones with a controversial move to Everton. The donk on it is through on goal and donks it onto the post and wide of the mark. So we've got away with one there. Good ball through to the new Everton striker. Um, but he puts it wide and we have got a chance here. We actually do look quite good. Uh, it's very early to say. I know we're only 15, 20 minutes in. But from what I've seen, we actually look like we could pro progress a ball forward, which is wild because we're not going to have to do that in a long, long time. O'Malley with a good ball over the top. Rene Solo does get on the end of it. Finds DK in the middle. Back to Emmanuel Abdul Salam. And he can hit them. And he does hit them. This is first of the season. This man's worth between 60 and 70 million pounds. And has been absolutely shocking this year. But he's finally put the ball in the back of the net. And I'm going to praise the boys. Had a ball with a free kick. To, oh, I thought Solo was going to get ahead on it. Abdul Salam picks it up nicely, though. Down this left-hand side. Finds the silver in the box. Finds it back to Lemishko. To Hannibal. Hannibal was absolutely smashed the crossbar from about 35 yards out. And what a goal that had been. And what a turn of events that had been to go 2 it up in this game. But we are still 1-0 up. Everton are looking strong. They're coming back to us on the XG chart. Al Jasmine on the ball, Hannibal, Sam Curtis, ball down the line to Daryl DK. Can he still cause confusion? He hasn't. It is long clear though, and Al Jasmine is. Oh, I was expecting another red card there, but the silver finds Abdul Salam. Poor ball through to Daryl DK, and it's back with the Everton goalkeeper, Heddle. I see Dilly Dally's on the ball, gets a big clearance up, and Sam Curtis does well to win the header. Mikalenko at left back, Bangure, Frendrup, ball over the top to put a donk on it. Great touch. Great save by Lukovic, but it still goes in. And I think he's onside as well. Goal review. He looked onside to me, and he was onside. VAR confirms the division. Maximus Donk on it. 13th goal of the season. Absolutely no doubt I thought he was onside. 40th minute, 1-1 going into half-time, I reckon. We are going into half-time, 1-1. A very even game to be honest. Both had nine shots. I'm actually quite happy with the performance. This is a team in sixth place. And we are giving them a run for their money. Sole is not having the greatest of games up top today. 54th minute. Potentially time for a change up there. Daryl DK looks like he's putting himself about a bit. Which is good to see. Abdul Salam enjoying that cam roll as well. Uh, Mikalenko just running around apparently. Finds ball through to Frendrup. <laughs> oh and he just sticks it in the back of the net. No one knows who you are. It's 2-1 Everton, and all hope is lost again. Ali Gundogu, no, he's not the man. Darren O'Hannon is the man to try and change this. Joe Bellingham, no. Dino Michel is going to come on for the silver. And Blas Rosman is going to come on for Owen O'Manley as well. 55th minute. Very quickly, this game has gone from very good to losing 2-1. Uh, O'Malley at left back finds the silver. Back to O'Malley. To Lemishko, probably just to work the space highlight, let's be honest. Because we wouldn't ever create anything, would we? Hannibal, Al Jasmi, Lemishko. Just knocking at yeah, I hate the highlights like that. The work the space highlights do my head in 60 minutes in. It's a highlight, and it's Patterson with the throw-in. 
finds down the line. Rosman does clear, but it's a ball back in the box. And Lilikovic does well to claim. And can we potentially get an attack going from here? From the back, Al Jasmi, Hannibal Medjbury. Great switch of play, and you've got space to run into there, Blaz. Instead, he walks forward and finds Tom Jones. Hannibal again. Tom Jones looking for a pass. A ball over the top to Daryl DK. There's a ball in the box there to O'Hanlon. What a save by the Everton goalkeeper, Heddle. Oh, O'Hanlon in the five yards out range. And the keeper gets a save on it. And you've got to be thinking, would Rene Sole would have finished that indeed? Let's encourage the boys. 20 minutes to go. Subs wise, there's not a lot I would change. I'm going to bring Connor Roberts on for Sam Curtis. And Carney Chukomenka is going to come on for Hannibal Medbury as well. He is not happy recently at his game time. Now's a chance to prove to him why he should be playing Carney. It's Frendrup finding Comas to Mikalenko down the left hand side. Frendrup again. A lot of issues being caused down this left hand side. We're meant to be trying to trap him inside, but it's not doing a great job. And Everton have definitely picked up in this second half. Now, a double of our shots. They've had 20 shots in this game. We've had just 10. It is Van der Ven on the ball to Mikalenko. And now Comas, and they're just knocking the ball about the back nicely. Can we get in and get an interception? Frendrup to Bangura again. And Everton just playing a very nice, calm football while we just sit off them and just watch them pass the ball. Something we can't do. Um, Jean finds the ball through to Donkin and he's on side again it's 3-1 and they've got a striker that can finish and that, that's the difference today a striker that is able to put the ball in the back of the net on a consistent basis this is the 14th goal of the season and we've been played a fiddle 1-0 up in the first half I thought things were going to take a turn and yet again that little hope that football manager gives you plucks it away from you in seconds and here we are 3-1 down in the 80th minute a ball through and Al Jasmi does pick it up. Lemish go to Al Jasmi. A long ball forward to DK who can't hold it up. And Donkins through again. Puts it over this time. Doesn't make it 4-1. It's still 3-1. And it's just constant highlights. And it's just Everton on top of us all the time. 84th minute with a home side. You wouldn't think so. Dino Marcella finding Kyle Chukomenka. Does well to beat his man. DK does find Abdul Salam. With an out, out, outrageous, audacious chip and does score. I'm going to praise and go attack him for this last five minutes. It's a great goal from Abdul Salam, don't get me wrong. But it's the 84th minute and we do not look like turning this game around in the slightest. It's a great chip. Unbelievable chip. And with 10 minutes to go, could we get something out of this? We'll go nice and more direct. My Nice and quick. Just three minutes to go, two minutes to go, one minute to go. We have got a highlight. And a point here to stop the run of defeats would be fantastic. It's a long ball forward, which is intercepted. And Everton have got the ball. They do not need to rush now. They need to just keep the ball and knock it about. And they know that as well. Barrera on the ball to McNeil, to Donkin up front, to McNeil again, to Ward Prowse. Tom Jones of a challenge and Michello of a challenge as well. And it's through to Bangora and it's a good save by Lilikovic. But I think... That is the highlight, and I think that is what we were watching for. 30 seconds to go as a long ball forward. O'Hanlon does pick it up. What can he do with it? Darren O'Hanlon. Daryl DK. Daryl DK, and it's 3-3 in the 94th minute. And we might have stopped the rot. We might have finally got a point, and it's not expected at all. It's Darren O'Hanlon with the ball. Does very good work to beat his man, get through two of them, ball in the box, and Daryl DK just finishes it. And it is a great finish. I apologise if the camera is moving all about the place. The cat is causing absolute mayhem. We've had to sort it at the worst of moments. A 3-3 game. Hallelujah. Right, let me sort the camera out. We finally stopped the rot. A draw against Everton. There's a cat which is all over the place. And wants to be on camera apparently. Attention seeking at every point she can get. Knocking the camera. Coming to sit on my lap and flagging her tail around. So... You'll have to just bear with the tail because there's no way I can get past this at this point. We have drawn 3 all with Everton. A very good result in the end. A point, nine games, ten games in a row losing. Eventually stopping the rot and getting a point. Thank God. We've got a decent December coming up. Five games we could get points against. We need to just make sure we can indeed. From me and from Cleo, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. 
and I'll speak to you next time.